What's up guys, this is Sean here. Uh, in this video tutorial I wanted to show you guys how to bring up your previous answer uh, by using this key called ANS on your calculator. Okay, so let's open up our calculator. I recommend you guys to bring out your calculator so you guys can actually try this out, okay? So, let's get started. Um, let's say I was doing some kind of really, really uh, complicated example or operations. Okay, so for example, something like 126 divided by like 34 or something like that. Okay, if I hit enter, I'm gonna get this long, really long, um, does make sense, some decimal, right? 3.705, blah, blah, blah. And let's say I had to use that number on my next operation. For example, that number times 2. Okay, well, you could have typed 3.70588 and so on on your calculator, but they'll waste your time, right? We don't use calculator to waste our time. We actually use calculator to save our time. So, I'm going to show you guys how to bring up that previous answer that you just got into your next operation. Okay, so let's clear that. Um, uh, that 3.7 there okay so if you go down below to your number keypad below your number 3 button you'll see this negative sign button here right and above that one you'll see there's a A and S written up there with blue color right and that A and S represents the answer and answer means the previous answer okay since I want to access this previous answer, I have to go through that uh, thing right there. But how do I access that? Notice it's a blue color, right? Which means we have to press second. And we have, once we press second, you will see an arrow on top of, your, top of your cursor here, right? And once you see that, just hit that negative sign. And if you do that, you will see a and S on your screen which represents the previous answer in this case my previous answer was what this long decimal right so this A and S right there is representing that and so let's say I wanted to do something like times 2 just type in A and S times 2 I don't have to type that really long integer or the decimal into my uh, operation here and save my time so if I hit enter notice it just did that operation and then it worked out really nicely so um, this will become very handy if you're dealing with a lot of decimal numbers because uh, if you round up your decimal into certain places in the end you might get an, you might get an error because due to the uh, roundup errors. So by using this answer key, you can kind of avoid that uh, rounding error issues, right? So this comes very useful. I hope you guys can uh, try this out at home and then I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys have any questions, please leave comments below and make sure you guys subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks.